After serving as a staff sergeant in World War II, Charles Schultz returned to his home in Minnesota determined to be a cartoonist, and he had no idea that this dream would make his art worth a billion dollars. Didn't start out that way though. First came up with Little Folks in 1947, and it has traits of what Peanuts would be, but it's more of a comic strip where you kind of lightly grin at the cute things the kids say, and that's kind of it really, no, nothing really more. But that all changed when an editor for the United Features Syndicate wanted Schultz to turn his Little Folks cartoon into a four panel strip. Schultz agreed, and from there, Peanuts is born. From then on, Schultz would draw his strip daily for 50 years. He only took one vacation to celebrate his 75th birthday in 1997, towards the very end of the strip. Because of this dedication to the craft, Schultz's characters will be published daily in 2,600 newspapers in 75 different countries in 21 different languages, becoming the most popular comic strip in history, earning Schultz 40 million a year. But why? Why did this comic strip that deal with kids and a beagle become so popular? Well, let's examine what I think are the three main reasons. Number one is Snoopy. There's no, you cannot deny the cultural impact Snoopy has had on the world. The two most iconic elements from Peanuts is Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Why? Because Snoopy is just so cool. He has the imagination we all want. We all wish we were flying fighter planes and shooting down the Red Baron. And we all wish we had the swag that he has because Snoopy has swag. Charlie Brown, by far the most relatable character in the whole strip. We all feel that way. But Snoopy is who we want to be, and that's the key. Snoopy is something that we wish we were. And a lot of critics had a problem with this. They, a lot of critics said that he shouldn't be in it because it's too much of a contrast between the anxiety and the realism of the kids. <sighs> to that, I say shut up. I would argue that you need that balance of a harsh anxiety and the lightness of a dog flying his house and being Joe Cool. It's like a sweet, light dessert after a five-star steak. Also, he looks amazing on merchandise. Snoopy was made for merchandising. There's no denying how perfect he is on a shirt. The second element is the artwork. Just because something is simple doesn't mean it's poorly drawn. Any aspiring cartoonist can learn an extremely valuable lesson from Schultz in that simplicity is always better. If you're doing a four panel strip, you only have four panels to get your point across. Make it accessible and clear what you're trying to say. Now, it must be noted to say that simplicity isn't easy. In fact, conveying an entire emotion with just a few lines is one of the hardest things to do as an artist. And yet look how masterful Schultz is at it. He communicates grief, joy, anger, and confusion all with a few lines and dots. He is a true, true master of his craft. And the third most important element, I would say, is how genuine he is. We've all sat down and read or watched something that you can immediately tell that whoever made this was just trying to make a quick buck or cash in on a trend, which is why it's so nice and refreshing when someone creates something that's genuine and comes from their desire and passion to make it. His whole life, Schultz wanted to be a cartoonist, and he worked relentlessly until he accomplished his goal, and from that hard work came the rewards. His characters came from a real place. They all reflect him in some way, and from being genuine with himself, other people were able to project themselves onto his characters. If a little boy says he feels just like Charlie Brown, we all know exactly what he means. He doesn't need to say anything else. We know he's been having a bad day. When people do things because they want to do it and they believe in it, great things will happen. Peter Jackson didn't make Lord of the Rings because he wanted to become a billionaire. He did it because he loved Tolkien's world and wanted to adapt it. Johnny Cash didn't start creating music to become rich and famous. He did it because he was good at it and he believed in himself. And Schultz created Peanuts because it was his passion and dream to become a cartoonist. And from that passion came the 40 million a year and a property worth a billion dollars.